You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans, we've got some hot spoilers for September 2nd through 6th as Lily Winters goes to Victor Newman with a wicked scheme to destroy Billy Abbott. And you can bet the mustache will be chomping at the bit to get in on that action. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. And let's dive into a few spoilers for next week in advance of the full weekly spoilers video coming out tomorrow. So over at the Abbott Mansion, Kyle tells Claire that they need to talk. And official YNR spoilers for fall say that Kyle and Claire are still starting a new romance soon and that pushes summer into thinking whether or not she has any lingering feelings for Kyle but this conversation he wants to have with Claire I wonder if it is Kyle asking her out on an official date you know they had that casual dinner where they were just catching up about Harrison but it wasn't a date date you know so is Kyle wanting Claire out for an actual romantic date or is this Kyle caving and doing what Victor asked him to do and telling Claire that she can't stay on as Harrison's nanny. I hope it's the date because on the Friday, August 30th episode, we had Claire talking to Summer about the family wanting her to be at Newman Enterprises, but she says she's happy being Harrison's nanny and, you know, Kyle's son is happy to have her there and Kyle thinks she's a very good nanny, but Victor doesn't like it. So we'll see if he caves. So Summer had a really nice moment with Claire as they were talking about her official Newman name change and Claire showed Summer this family tree plaque that she had made up for their grandparents with her added as one of the little leaves on the branches and now that Summer and Kyle seem to be playing nice and are not going to war over Harrison obviously they need more drama to stir up things between these exes and for now at least it seems that Summer is moving past her bizarre and unwarranted fixation on Audra Charles. Maybe Summer finally listened because literally everybody but Phyllis told her that Kyle and Audra are just working together. They're not involved. And even Phyllis finally stopped harping on the Audra being evil and a bad influence on Harrison thing. I mean, Summer knows now that Audra's never even met the kid. And the main bad influence in Harrison's life has got to be Summer's mom, Phyllis, at this point, I think. Not that you really see Phyllis around Harrison too much. I mean, they don't show the kid a ton, but whether it's next week or not, it will be very soon that Kyle wants to explore how he's feeling about Claire and he asks her to take a chance with him. And I'm guessing initially Claire may hold back because of her newfound peaceful dynamic with Summer, but she won't hold out for too long, according to fall spoilers. I mean, heck, maybe Summer even tells Claire, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You can go out to dinner with him. It's fine because Summer is so busy insisting she's not jealous and she's completely over Kyle. And plus, Summer has got a guy of her own. She's got Chance Chancellor. But there's definitely a chill in the air as we head into fall when Summer sees Kyle falling for Nanny Claire. Of course, she may not be the nanny too much longer. Next, we have Billy asking Chance if he is getting ready to jump ship away from Abbott Chancellor. And the thing is, Chance tells Billy he hasn't quite decided yet. So right now, you know, Billy feels vindicated in firing Lily because he thinks she betrayed him. And I mean, she did betray him. She was looking to fire him from Chancellor, but she didn't have the authority to do it. And Billy did have the power from his mom, Jill. So he flipped the script, tossed Lily out on her ear. Don't count her out yet, though. Lily has had worse scrapes to get out of. But I think with Chance, you know, he's been watching the scheming and the upheaval. And that's just not the kind of guy that he is at heart. And he did seem to like working with Lily, with, you know, Nate, with Devon. And now all three of them are gone. So Chance 
is probably worrying that he's going to be the next one cut. But Billy can't clear everybody out of the executive suite and run things alone. He needs people there and he needs people he knows he can trust. And Chance is family. You know, Jill is Billy's mom and also Chance is grandma. So them sticking together makes sense. And I wonder if this is when Billy offers Chance a big promotion. Official YNR spoilers said someone is going to be running Abbott Chancellor with Billy. So Billy may also realize that since he fired someone that his mom Jill trusts and cares about, Lily, you know, he may need to make amends with Jill to some extent and putting her precious grandson up in the top tier of leadership at Abbott Chancellor might buy him a little forgiveness and patience with his mother. Whether Chance would be made COO or even co-CEO with Billy is a possibility. I do think Billy is going to try very hard to keep Chance around and not let him walk away from the company. You know, maybe he's going to play the stick with family card. And I do think Chance will stay because he knows Jill would want him to. But also Jill is back this fall to fight against the takeover plans aimed at her company. So there's lots of fun ahead with that. The last thing I have to talk to you about is Victor and Lily. They're having a little chat at the GCAC Jazz Lounge. And Victor asks Lily, is she asking him to help her take down Billy? And she says, yeah. So official fall spoilers contradict this to some extent, though, because they say Lily is not happy that Victor is targeting Abbott Chancellor and that she's going to do everything in her power to protect Abbott Chancellor and Jill comes back for that fight as well. With that in mind, I think this is Lily trying to outmaneuver both Billy and Victor. We all know Lily's a smart cookie. If she can pit Victor and Billy against each other as you know, often as she can, then she might be able to do an end run and salvage the company from both of them while they are distracted making war on each other. It's a good plan. Despite Billy firing her, you know, Lily does care about Chancellor. And more than that, she cares about Jill and also about Catherine's legacy, even though she's not a blood relative. Jill has been really good to Lily, especially after the felony conviction and that stint in prison, an unfair stint in prison, but still. And that made Jill hiring her a risk. But Jill took that risk. She's nurtured Lily, encouraged her, mentored her, and Jill really trusts Lily. They have a very deep bond and Lily is not going to want to betray Jill. She's going to want to protect her. So I do think when Jill's in town, we are going to find out that even though Lily asked Victor to help her destroy Billy, that doesn't mean she is truly allying herself with Victor. And here's a couple more tidbits for upcoming storylines this week. Chelsea and Adam are on the outs from their partners, Billy and Sally, and both Adam and Chelsea want forgiveness and a fresh start from the people they love. Billy's not so sure he can get past the betrayal. Sally's more caught up on the ongoing lies and gaslighting and further complicating this confirmed by YNR spoilers is that Sally and Billy lean on each other while navigating this emotional minefield. I did a video on this yesterday wondering if their sadness is going to lead them into new territory and maybe they make a little misstep of their own. We will also see Sharon's spiral going wildly out of control next week. Cameron is pushing her to take payback on those responsible for Faith's accident, which is clearly Lucy, but Daniel is also tangled up in this because of all the Cassie history going on right now. Sharon is off her meds talking to a vengeful ghost and lying to her family. And it gets deeper next week as Nick worries when Sharon takes action that puts herself and others in danger. Be sure to check in tomorrow for our full roster of Young and the Restless Weekly Spoilers for September 2nd through 6th. Drop your comments on what you're excited to see. Please subscribe if you're not following us and definitely come back tomorrow. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt talking Young and the Restless with you seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 